Hey guys, it's kind of dark in here. Alexa, turn your light on. Sending that to it. Alexa, turn your light off. Sending that to it. As you can see, it works pretty well. Let me show you how it's done. In a previous video, I already showed how this works. The speech coming in here into the Amazon Echo and then going through my home Wi-Fi and sending it to Amazon and from Amazon sending it to a service called If This Then That and then goes to Adafruit and from Adafruit it goes down back to my home Wi-Fi onto the ESP and in my previous video I showed how this could turn on and off an LED but an LED could be replaced by anything and in this case I want to turn on and off my workbench light so instead of a relay I just happen to have this antique X10 home automation system and what it is is something that communicates through the AC power line rather than wirelessly you plug this under the wall and then there's a transmitter right here that talks to a remote, a battery powered remote. And if you press this button, this happens to be unit number one. There's no button to change to a unit. So if you press that, it will turn on and off whatever I plug in onto here. The interesting thing happens when I press button number two. It's not this unit. It is simply passed through from here to here. Notice that this one doesn't have an antenna. Unlike this one that has an antenna, the second one does not have an antenna. And you say, how does it communicate between here and here? Well, it communicates through the AC power line. Both of these devices are plugged in under the wall, and it uses the wire, the house wiring, to transmit from one to another. And I believe because of that, this system is not really that reliable. There's a lot of noise on the line, but it works okay. And it is cheaper than the newer the Wemo or the smart things. I just happen to have these, so I tried to hook it up, and it worked. So the thing that I did is basically I replaced this remote with this remote. This is called a CM17A. It is also from the old olden days. And notice that it doesn't have a USB port. It actually has a serial port. I don't know how many of you actually have seen a serial port. In the olden days, computers have serial ports instead of USB ports. So you plug this into the PC, and then from the PC, you could control this whole system. Well, I replaced the PC with the ESP8266. So now, after it goes through all that chain, he sends the command to this guy. This guy sends the command wirelessly through this guy. And from here, by sending the proper command, I could send either control this guy or control that guy. So you might be wondering, why didn't I just put a relay over here? Well, if I put a relay over here, that means I can only control one device or maybe two, depending on how many ports you have on the ESP. That means you have to maintain a whole bunch of these. Well, by doing this now, there's only one receiver in the house that talks to Adafruit.io that talks through all this whole command and he actually could control as many of these extend devices as I want because it's just a matter of sending the command to the proper device unit. So that's it. It basically goes through here to Amazon, if Adafruit.io, he subscribes, he listens to the command when there's a proper command comes in, light on, he sends a proper command to the proper device and then the proper device turns on or off, depending on the command, of course. If you guys want to see the code, let me know, but I don't think anybody would be interested in seeing code for an antique device. If, but if you are interested, leave a comment and I'll be happy to oblige. If you think this is interesting, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.